Hello everyone, my name is Ataya, and today I'm reviewing a new favorite, Subnautica. Now, this is a new favorite of mine, but the game itself isn't all that new, having started early access development back in December of 2014. Currently, the developers are still very active in working on this game, and there is a major update to the game about once a month. But before I get too into the development of the game itself, let's check out what Subnautica is all about. Subnautica is an open world, underwater survival game. In this game, you crash land on an alien world, which from above looks almost completely desolate. However, just below the ocean surface is a world teeming with life. You will swim among thousands of fish within several distinct biomes, looking for the resources you'll need to survive. Currently, there is no overarching story within the game, and your only real objective is to not die. But man, having no story or objectives has never been so much fun. As I played, I kept getting the feeling that I was playing some sort of underwater Minecraft as I scoured deep ocean caves for resources to craft tools and weapons, to find food so I don't starve, and to even build an underwater base. Thankfully, you crash land with some pretty advanced technology allowing you to create these things with the resources you find. You'll likely spend the first couple hours of the game swimming around the shallow waters of the reef, collecting titanium, copper, silver, to build tools in your first underwater base with. During this time, you'll be blown away by the bright colors, crisp, clear ocean, and variety of sea life. As your technology improves, you'll be able to reach new depths of the ocean and I really enjoyed this progression in the game. When I started playing, I felt like a grain of sand in the sea. Creeping too far away from my shallow water base, I felt as if I could be engulfed by the ocean. This game can be at times very scary, especially when you attempt to explore the deeper ocean. Coming across giant whale-like fish for the first time and hearing them roar as I approached was truly intimidating. However, with time, you'll start feeling more and more in control of your surroundings. You'll begin to stockpile supplies and find the resources you need to build new additions to your base, granting you access to new technologies. The crafting system is straightforward and easy to get a hang of, and your base is completely customizable. In your customized base, you can start building submarines, which will allow you to reach depths far greater than ever before. One of the coolest things you can build in this game is a spaceship-like sub called the Cyclops. In this thing, you'll feel like the commander of a space fleet as you explore the deepest parts of the ocean. You can upgrade your fleet with torpedoes, power-saving abilities, and increased resistance to ocean pressure for deeper exploration. However, don't get too cocky, in those depths lie not only metal crushing ocean pressures that you'll need to prepare for, but also sea monsters that can puncture even the toughest of ships. All this being said, the game is certainly not perfect yet. There are at times, when you're swimming among a ton of fish and plant life, that the game can get a little laggy. There are also some graphic assets that are still being worked on. 
In addition, you don't lose health at super deep depths like your ships will as they are crushed by the massive pressure of the ocean, which I thought was a little game breaking. However, these are just a few problems that I believe will be fixed and edited within future updates. One gripe that I picked up on while playing, and I feel could be the largest deterrent from other people playing, is that in its current state, Subnautica can get a little repetitive. As you start building more advanced tech, you'll need to gather some pretty rare resources, and a lot of them. This can be a bit time consuming. However, in my opinion at least, the fantastic exploration aspect of this game negates this issue almost entirely. It's just too fun swimming around the ocean. There is always something new to see and a cave to explore. And the reward for finding those rare resources, like a giant submarine spaceship, is all too worth it in the end. So far, I've played about 10 hours of this game. And in its current development, I'm feeling like I'm about halfway through messing around with what this game currently has to offer. There are still technologies for me to discover, a couple biomes that I've yet to explore, and I'm just now getting my base a bit more self-sustainable. I'm really looking forward to what the future of this game holds, as I believe it has some incredible potential. I would absolutely recommend this game to almost any gamer. I'm not a big exploration game fan myself, but even I'm hooked on Subnautica. If you want to support this game as it continues to develop, check it out on Steam today. Hey, you like this review? You want to see more? Subscribe!